Owen Hazlitt, welcome. So, uh, welcome to um, my first cap, Hockey Internationals Club. Um, and um, yeah, just a little introduction of, uh, of yourself. Um, you played for Great Britain four to six times, um, an Olympian, a retired army officer, retired city grandee, um, hockey international club IT guru, and the guy that's really helped put this database together with everyone at the Hockey Museum. Um, you've put yourself up to, uh, to talk about your first cap. So we'll just start off with what your, what your sort of main memories of uh, your first cap playing for Great Britain. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know whether anyone would agree, but I, I did remember, I do confess to feeling a little complacent because it, we were playing Japan. And I thought, well, I've never heard of the Japanese playing hockey and I'm sure that, you know, it'll be a walk in the park. We had a great team, we, you know, you were playing and others. And I thought, well, this will be the perfect introduction. And I remember being really shocked by the intensity of it. Um, and, you know, the, the fact that um, they really could play and uh and and the other point was it was so hot um so this was uh, in malaysia wasn't it we were, yes it we were was malaysia Ipo, Ipo. Ipo, um and uh it, you know that it was like a cauldron there and i do remember also i played left half or something or right half or one of the wing half positions and and the the stand on one of the sides the the, the roof of it, it had a about a yard wide strip of shade on the right hand side or the left hand side and i do remember roger self saying to me that occasionally you could you could come off the line and, and do something else and i thought well look at that <laughs> I'm, I'm you know i'm an english ginger that doesn't like the yeah. sun and also the fact that they painted the lines with gloss paint do you remember that so I you know, know. <laughs> where so where you know normally you'd see you know the paint sort of permeate the astroturf, if you sort of mean, you know, it's just a coloured piece of astro. They'd actually put white gloss. So it was a white plastic kind of cover. So if you put your foot on it, it uh, that was my excuse. If you put yeah. your foot on it, you just went complete perler because it, they'd sort of done a sort of road marking on it. <laughs> so the army officer in you came out where you were looking for the cover. And you, Actually, <laughs> you found that, uh, except selfie rumbled you and decided he needed to get you out of the pitch probably covering for the inside left who was uh, struggling uh, yeah just uh, breathing out of his backside by, by probably about five minutes in well uh, you know, we the, all were the, 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 if there's one place not to play the japanese i think it's probably malaysia um, because they, um, they 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 knew how to run if they didn't know how to play hockey well, they... uh, to, to sort of quite the international standard that uh, some other teams were played no, I agree. That, that was my, I was shocked by it. And then we played Pakistan the next game, which, you know, but I'm glad I did the Japanese one because um, it would have been a, a real shock to play Pakistan. So um, in that team and uh, present company uh, accepted, um, can you remember who was the scariest person? You know, the first cap was off to the someone that you want to impress. So who's the who's the scariest person? The person that you felt you had to to impress the most while you were there? Well, I I suppose it. Um, I mean, I suppose that the scariest person there and and on the planet was Roger Self. <laughs> um, yeah. but of course, that's not quite your question. Um, but he, uh, well, it, 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 so he certainly had a big influence. So um, yeah, there's. Um, it, 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 um, yeah, a, a, a very uh, dominating uh, character for, for all the right reasons. Yeah, he was. And, and, and I was a student uh, then. I wasn't a soldier by then. And, and, and I hadn't come across someone like that necessarily before. I remember being summoned to his um, room in the hotel in, where was that, in Ipo? Yeah, yeah. To talk about something. And, um, and I was there. And, and this journalist came came up and just walked in the door was open he just walked in and he said excuse me mr self could i have an interview and roger said he said have you have you, have you got an interview have you got a, a an appointment and he and the chap said no i i don't and he said roger said <laughs> like this. I'd, never, I'd never i you know for me that was quite a, a shock so he was, yeah. he, was he was checking you out well i mean you know and yeah and i think he did that to all of us i I think that he had a formula and, you know, and the, the, yeah. this is well trodden path, but, you know, he had a formula that he stuck to and, and you, it was up to you to sort of 
produce the answers that he wanted, you know, when he was doing his things. And, and, and that, so that was important. The other one was um, Potts. Okay. Uh, I subsubsequently um, played a lot of hockey. Yeah, you, so you weren't a club, club mate at that stage. And a great friend. Um, but he's a terribly inscrutable man and, and doesn't <laughs> offer uh, anything um, that's... I, I mean, really, he's a Yorkshireman, actually. You know, he's a very sort of gruff, um, taciturn man. But my point, you know, for me, he, he was obviously someone who, who, who clearly um, done so, so well. So I was definitely out to him impress him i'm not so sure he's not, he's not a home count is softy then i don't I... No, i i don't think oh, he is i mean i think <laughs> his, his provenance but i think it's yeah. definitely somewhere in south yorkshire is where he's actually he's actually from i think they switched him at birth yeah good good okay so anything else that you can recall what about the score did, did we beat japan we we, we did three one um i remember but i don't remember um uh, the, the sort of goals or, or anything. It's funny, isn't it? You, uh, you, you sort of um, don't remember any of those sorts of things. Uh, no. Well, I don't anyway. Yeah, uh, but well, it, so, so not the goal scored. You were more of the goal stopped, weren't you? Yeah, I, I'm afraid I played uh, however many times, 46 times, uh, and never, I mean, I think I had two shots and both of those <laughs> were in the last two games. And, and both of those in, induced not just a save from the goalkeeper, but a kind of laugh, you know, <laughs> I think it was a breakdown of a short corner that I was stopping and I had a sort of wild flail at the ball and, and stuff like that. So, so yes, I'm afraid yeah, I'm, no, I'm not. Nosebleed territory, certainly. OK, so uh, in terms of memories then, 1987, I've got a few questions around 1987, see what your memory of that is, uh, is like. Um, the, the, the biggest grossing movie in 1987 was? Top Gun? No, I don't know when Top Gun was. I, I looked this up and I thought, there's no way. You're ever going to remember this. Uh, three men and a baby. Oh yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you that. can get a point. You can get a point if if you know who who's the star of the uh, the film. Was it um um the four weddings and a funeral man? Um. No, I'm not going to give you that. Grant. No. No, it's Tom Selleck. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hopefully you'll get this one. I was going to ask you uh, who the prime minister was, but that that's pretty obvious. Um, um, so, who was the, the, the U.S. president in 1987? Uh, it was. Um, was it still? It was Reagan, wasn't it? Correct. One point. Yeah. Yeah. So one point, and the last one. Obviously, you were. You, I mean, you, know, you weren't in the army at this stage. No, well, I sort of was. Um, well, you sort of? Good, because you should know the answer to this one then. Because um, uh, I want to know who the, the chief of defence staff was. Guthrie? No, no, no. In fact, he was, he was not an army guy. It was Navy. I couldn't find out who the army guy was. So Sir John Fieldhouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Admiral Fieldhouse, yeah. Yeah, should, should have known that one. So anyway, one out of three. And um, we'll, we'll finish off with some just some quick fire questions. No rights or wrongs with these. So, um, uh, first, uh, first uh, answer that comes to mind, the best player you played with? Imran Shawani. Imran Shawani. Shout out for Imran Shawani. I think he'd be in the top, top five for many, many of us. So, uh, OK, the best player that you played against? Uh, Deleson. Um, Mark Deleson, Netherlands. OK, um, good. Yeah, nice answer. I like that. Yeah. yeah, couldn't get the ball off him. Um, OK, so this was this was a, um, um, a sort of perennial debate uh, when I was playing um, for, for Great Britain. Red, white and blue or white, blue and red? No, I'm red, white and blue. So red shirt. Yeah, red shirt, white shorts, blue socks. Yeah, white shorts in India or Pakistan were a little logistically uh, challenging. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, I know I'm a red shirt man. It, it went better with my um, hair tone, I think. Okay, good, 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 yeah. Um, uh, so uh, your favorite venue? Well, that's a good question. Um, uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium in Delhi. Ooh, never went to India, so. Yeah, it was a, a, it's an old cricket pitch and they'd stuck okay. a 
stuck a, 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 a pitch and sort of in the middle type thing. And yes. it was just brilliant. I, I loved it. And it was great. I loved it. Yeah. That. Okay. Uh, big, big crowds? You play big crowds? Yes. Or? I mean, unusually, I mean, you know, I, I'm sure you, you know, you played a big crowds. I, I, um, I think we played, I played an England World Cup sort of quarterfinal against Australia with sort of 25,000, I think, in Sydney. And that, apart from India, I think in India was, was was about the same so so not i think some some of you guys have played in lahore and places where you've sixty thousand or whatever yeah, but I, I, I never did that but um we'll, but we'll so, do pictures of that so. yeah and, and and also the asian crowd um and malaysia was the same actually they they were wonderfully um they took the mickey um especially when you played at wing half or something which i did and when it was hot i i just looked like i was a sort of squash tomato and and they just <laughs> it was so obviously i was so obviously in discomfort and they would they uh, they would just take the mickey uh, which i i thought was rather fun they they were quite um um chaotic but rather charming you know great fun they would just you know you're going to stop one yeah hazlitt type thing <laughs> and did you no. <laughs> no. Good. And last last question. Your least favourite fitness test? Ooh. Um, ooh, now we used to go to Northwick Park. Do you remember? Uh, I've, um, yes, I've won once or twice. I think I was just as I was coming to an end to play. Well, this was pre-88. Okay. Um, and we went and we had those East German physiologists who were <laughs> slightly do you remember them? And you were on the treadmill and, yeah, and, and stuff. I didn't mind running, actually. I, I don't mind running and jogging yeah. and stuff. But they did. We did a watt bike test, I seem to remember, for sort of 30 seconds on a go. And, and that was just... OK. Uh, was a bit like the VO2 max or...? Um, no, the VO2 oh, no. max was on the treadmill, I seem yeah. to remember. And yes, that was that was unpleasant in the sense that, you know, you, you really... And you had that sort of mask on, and yeah, things. Yeah. and you went until you until you finished. <laughs> but 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 actually, I didn't mind that so much. But it, the watt bike test, you know, where you got a real burn, and you, it, I got a real kind of puke type feeling about it. And I'm okay. sure nowadays, it, and, you know, it's all. And they, they did it on the dot matrix printer. The youngsters will find this very funny. But <laughs> it took about twenty minutes to come out. You know, on the sort of you. Do you, you, you remember that? Um, Anyway, but that was, I think, the worst one. Brilliant. That's been fantastic. Hopefully you've enjoyed reliving a, a moment in history. So, uh, well, yeah, it's, those are the days. Great fun. Great Thanks fun. for your stories. <laughs>